third finger goes here on your second string middle finger goes in the third fret on your sixth string so third fret second string third fret sixth string your middle finger is going to help block out that string okay so when you strum it all it doesn't work and your third finger is going to help block out that string okay you see that so you hit that so it's one strum I'm going to strum here so you can see you have a strum and then there's another strum and you're going to come back up and you'll come back down with D so that strum so it was a down then an up and then back down now that up strum if you actually hit that up strum and you leave it ringing Yeah, it's not very cool, but it's supposed to be a transitional type thing, so it's whole time the third finger stays right where it's at, okay? So G, G, okay, that's the main exercise. Now I'm strumming up here just so you can see where I strum. If I play back here, sounds much better. Notice. You may or may not be able to do this, but my thumb is hitting this, it's just resting on top of it. So if it does hit it, it won't work. But if I actually press down hard enough to fret, it's part of the D chord, so it works too. Okay, but you can just have your thumb just barely, if you can get across the top, to block it out. If not, just don't hit the string. So one more time.